Hey guys, this is the Goldfish and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I know it's been a while, but today we're going to be having a look at the official mod created by Squad uh, for the World Cup Soccer. As you can see, I've got my Dutch flag out here. Um, now, I haven't really had a look at the mod yet. I know that they've added uh, two balls, two soccer balls into the game, so let's quickly go have a look at those. These are the two soccer balls here, uh, found under the structural tab, you know, we got the KSP ball, this is a, a small ball, and we also have uh, the KSP big ball, which, well, as the name kind of suggests, it's, it's big, it's huge. Now, today, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with these exactly, oh, wow, that flag back there is huge, where's... Is there another flag around here? No. Okay. Um, we're just going to be messing around with these exactly. Um, going to be testing, you know, how they react to stuff if they're bouncy. Um, just, you know, general testing with these soccer balls. Um, and then maybe if we can get it set up, maybe even get a Kerbal to go score a goal, right? So, um, you know, uh, I'm going to set up the first test and I will see you out on the launch pad, I guess. Right. Here's our first test. We have a whole bunch of balls hanging here, right? At different heights. Now, um, what I want to test is when we release these balls, uh, first of all, how well they bounce, how high they bounce. Um, and what we'll probably see with the big ones is I'm guessing they'll bump into each other and we'll see how they sort of react with each other. And uh, I've got this all set up with action groups. So we're going to first drop off these small balls here, these three. So let's go. A one, a two, three. Wow, they just exploded. Okay, that was an unexpected reaction, to be honest. Um, let's see how the big ones do. They also, they just seem to like fall straight down to the ground. They look heavy by the looks of it. They don't really appear to be bouncing. Um, now I'm interested to see what will happen when I... Um, well, first of all, we should release that clamp. Oh boy. Oh boy, um, Houston, we may have a bit of a problem, and then just let go of those. Okay, um, slight flaw in the plan, I did not expect the twitching, and I kind of didn't think about that now the balls would be falling on top of the parts we just dropped, but whatever, you know, let's just go to the next ones, these here, I expect them to just explode now as well, but wow, they really fly towards the ground though, like at the speed of light. It's crazy. Let's release the big ones. The big ones do appear to bounce somewhat. I don't know. The interaction of these balls with the world is very peculiar. I don't know. Let's go with the next lot over here. Bush. It did seem to bounce on the part though. Maybe what the problem is, is that they're falling on the decouplers and that's exploding. Is that, what, is that what's happening? Uh, I think so, I guess. There we go. Get rid of that. Um, I think that might be the case. I, I think I have a way of maybe uh, solving that in a minute. Let's first of all release the last ones. The balls over there. And um, the big ones uh, here. I mean, yeah, the big ones appear to be bouncing somewhat. I mean, yeah. Interesting test. We learned that balls fly towards the ground at a bajillion miles an hour. Uh, I'm going to set up another test here to test whether it was the decouplers exploding or the actual balls. Uh, so I'll set that up and then more science. Right, so to test whether it's the balls or not, I've added these uh, separators, which, you know, will actually detach from the bowl as well. Um, and because, well, the bigger balls did seem to bounce, I decided let's just set this one up with small balls and we can do another test with this with a big ball in a moment as well. Um, let's just go ahead and decouple this. Well, what I did notice is that they didn't fly at the ground as hard and none of them actually exploded. So, yeah, I didn't see them bouncing though either. Um... What I'm interested in now is how a Kerbal reacts to one of these balls when it touches it. Um, if they added some kind of kicking mechanism or something. So, um, I'm going to get a Kerbal out here with a ball as well. And then we'll see how well that goes. What's that I see? Is that a giant soccer ball in front of me? 
Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> that was awesome. No, actually, the soccer ball's pretty small, but your window is just... Oh, actually, he was looking out of that window. Yeah, that is a giant soccer ball. <laughs> right. Um, so let's first of all release the small one. There it is. And let's get Jeb out to go kick it. Ah, get up, Jeb. He is um, clearly um, in his soccer outfit. Um, oh, look at that. He has his flag on his jetpack. That's awesome. Um, getting a little distracted. Let's go play soccer. Um, let's first just walk into it, see how it reacts. Just pushing the ball, it seems. It doesn't even really... It's rolling very slowly. Speeding up slightly, maybe. Roll on, little ball. Okay, now let's run into it. Nothing. Okay, can we r interact with it? Can't click on it. Okay. Okay, let's stop it from going down the hill. No! Back that way. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Running down the hill with a ball. Uh, it is it is fun to, to sort of kick it around, though. I mean, it sort of just sticks to him, though. It doesn't really get... You can't really kick it. Let's try jump on top of it. Oh, I'm actually standing on top of the ball now. Okay. Look at me. I'm like one of those elephants in a circus. <laughs> I do want to test how it reacts to water. I'm, I'm very interested to see if it'll sink or not. The ball then. The Kerbal obviously uh, doesn't sink. Oh, wow. The ball's just sort of stuck up on... Oh, there we go. It's still... St okay. Quick. Jeb. Jeb. Go. Get it. There we go. Okay. Still no bounce. That's a little disappointing. I wanted it to bounce. Yeah, it's very similar to the uh, other one. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just push it off the hill here. Here we go. Oof. Okay, up the hill. There we go. Down it goes. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to set up a setup. I'm going to set up a setup. Um, so that we can test how it reacts to water. What better way to, uh, to test whether the balls sink or not uh, than to just drop it in the water, right? Um, I'm not sure which balls are going to go first. I'm not sure how I set these up, so um, it's a bit of a surprise. Um, uh, deploying balls now. Oh, wow, those did... Oh, oh, they bounce on the water. They bounce on the water, like air intakes, I guess. Um, oh, let's actually turn around and let's go have a look at... Um, and if they're floating or if they're sinking... <sighs> now that's a pity, because we did not get to test the other balls. It's still bouncing, I'm guessing that's the ball over there. <laughs> oh boy, I just realized. Eh. Internet, what have you done to me? <laughs> uh, oh well. Are we far enough out? Yeah, deploying balls now. Oh, wow, something blew up there. Um, let's go up. Let's see, it's bouncing. Okay. Okay, they are just floating, it seems. Okay. Oh, no, they're still bouncing. Still bouncing. Okay. So, result, big balls uh, bounce on water. They do not sink. Um, let's deploy the smaller ones now. Uh, and then we gotta go back and fetch him. Have a look. Yeah, they are. It does seem that you need to be near to him, though. Otherwise, they uh, they don't bounce. The other one is actually acting a little strange in the water there. Let's go have a look at that. Okay. Um, probably if we speed up time here. I know, I know. Then, um, yeah, there we go. They go bounce. Look at that. Okay. Interesting. The, the big ones seem to bounce more easily than the small ones, though. Here, if we uh, speed up here. And then again, these are acting a little strange now as well. Uh, they do bounce in water. They're a little glitchy, it seems, though. But cool, that's that's interesting. An interesting find. Now, I'm going to set up a goal. And we're going to go try score a goal in the goal. Which is logical. Um, before we end off the video, we've, we've done some good tests. Uh, so now it's time to have some fun. Now, what better way to try score goals, then drop the balls out of a plane. Right? Am I right? You know I'm right. There is one other test I wanted to do, I just realized, while, um, 
while I was setting up the goal. Um, and that is that I want to see how they react when you drop the balls on an engine. Um, because, you know, that's the Kerberly way, right? Let's try and score this goal and then we'll, we'll see how that goes, you know, dropping balls on an engine. Um, I'm just going to try get down low. You know, that's what you want to do. You want to get close to the goal. Go down a little more. Oh! Well, um... Does that count as as a goal? I mean, technically, I got three balls in there. Um, and I survived. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, the goal didn't really survive, though. Uh, tell you what, we'll do the engine tests and then we'll give this another shot. Right, so this is the test, right? We got a couple of engines here, a couple of balls. On the other side, we have the same, but, you know, with the smaller balls. Uh, now, I've turned on infinite fuel for this, just so that we can, you know, burn the engines. Um, and I think we're going to start with the big engine here, activate that, and the... Um, one of the small balls. Now, what I am afraid of here is that when I turn on the engine, it's going to rip the whole structure apart. As you can see, I've put struts everywhere to keep this thing together. Um, I guess let's just throttle up the engine. Okay, it seems to be doing all right. Engine is... I'm going to just keep the thrust at about this. This should be enough, right? Now, there is a big puffy cloud here. Hopefully, we can actually see what happens to the ball. Um... I guess, are we ready for deployment? Three, two, one. Oh, the ball does... Oh, the ball goes flying. Let's see if we can still switch to it. E where's the other... Hang on. This isn't the ball. Although I did see two, you know, dots flying off. So, um... Let's just switch back to the craft. And then, um... And then, and then we'll switch over earlier and see if we can actually switch to the ball. Maybe the ball actually like left a whole lot faster. I think that's the case. Okay, now that was obviously the biggest engine of all. So um, this next engine will probably, the mainsail, give a less far throw, if this is what you can call it. Um, but, you know, it's, it'll be interesting to see anyway. Let's throttle this thing up. Um, give it a nice amount of... Thrust. Let's go full thrust on this. Uh, here we go. Get ready to switch. Now. There we go. Look at the ball go. Jeez, look at how fast it's going. He sh shoots. He scores. We're going for the moon, baby. Look at that. That's incredible. Yeah, so this is what happened to the other ball. It just, like, outflew the uh, other one. And, of course, this is the less powerful engine, too. So, we're at 4,000... 5,000 meters, and we really probably don't even have this thing angled ideally either. This could, you know, cause some very interesting uh, competitions. Like, who can kick the ball the furthest, for example, a very simple example. Or, you know, that kind of stuff. That's awesome. We made it to like 5,700 meters. That is how far we made it. That is insane. And that is with the smallest... Or, or with the mainsail engine, not the biggest one. Um, I'm interested to see what the big ones do, too. Um, let's test the smallest engine with the small ball. And then move on to the big balls. Right, then let's... Oh, boy, that one's still on. Oopsie. Then let's go for the smallest engine now, full thrust. Uh, and um, get ready to switch now. There we go. Wow, okay, this thing is also going... Uh, not as fast, but that's logical. It's a much smaller engine. Camera is still going crazy. The, the ball seems to be spinning a lot more now. Uh, 1800 meters seems to be the max, yeah. I think we're on our way back down. Um, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Then now, let's get to the big boys. The big boys indeed. Let's throttle this one up. Um... Let's go full throttle. I think this one should be at the... It shouldn't make that much of a difference. And then, um... Let's go ahead and release... I believe it's quick button four, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, this one's doing all right. Goodbye, space station! Space station? I mean, space center! Only gonna make it to... Well, it's at 800. Let's fast forward a time a little bit here. Okay, I'm not sure what the... 
Oh, it's bouncing, it's bouncing. Ah, oh, the turning is very glitchy. Still made it quite a way out. Imagine if you'd put enough engines together and tried to fire one of these things into, into space. Yeah. I'm gonna try that in a different video. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's try the mainsail now. Oh, that's looking into a puff of smoke. Uh, I just dropped the wrong ball, my bad. This is the right one. Uh, there we go. 200 meters, let's see if this one does better. I believe the last one got up to about 800. This one's doing better than actually. It's up to a thousand meters. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe again, it's the angle. Maybe it's that, maybe it's too much thrust or something, full thrust, I don't know. So did it make it further out? Maybe a little bit. I, I feel like it's a little bit further out, but I'm not sure if it's much. Right, here we go. Dropping the ball and following it. Here we go. Um, I don't think this one's going to do a lot better than the mainsail. It's still cool just seeing the, the space center disappear underneath you. There's the goal. We still got to try and score there. Um, yeah, we're already on our way down. Yeah, it didn't make it... It made it a lot less far than the mainsail. Interesting tests. Interesting tests indeed. Um, now let's go try and score a goal with our plane. So, oh jeez, that was almost the runway. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, did we score one at least? Let's switch over to here. Is there one in the... No. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Uh, I tried to throw it in from the side now. Didn't quite work. So this is my tactic now. Just drive at it here and just sort of make our way right over there already. Just like take off right in front of it and then just drop the balls. Please, did one make it? Do we have any left? We don't have any left. Let's see if... Oh, there's a ball rolling around. So is that one. So is that one. And that's the plane. Oh crap, it's still flying. Um, oh boy. Please. Oh, that one just missed. It barely missed. Oh, that was still very close, but no hit. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not good at soccer. I don't think I'll be scoring it today. Oh, I can't even score like this. No. Well, <laughs> that's going to be it for this video, though. Had some fun with, uh, had some fun, <laughs> had some fun with soccer balls. I just want to let you know that I will be continuing the Goldfish subscriber based asteroid base soon. Uh, the lack of videos has purely come because school has been extremely busy. We're coming up to the end of the year, coming up to my uh, we last week of exams as well. I had a lot of projects to finish. But after that, summer holidays will have started. And, uh, you know, I'll have a lot more time for videos, which will be awesome. It will be very awesome indeed. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, I would highly appreciate it if you subscribed. That way you're informed for, uh, you know, all the new uploads. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video or learned something from our very scientific experiments. And, uh, you know, let me know down below if you have any interesting ideas that I can do with soccer balls. Like I said, I'll probably be trying to send some soccer balls into space using engines. But, you know, just any of those fun little random ideas uh, should be fun. We can probably try send one to the moon maybe now that I see it there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time.